there, there's been lots of stuff put out there by uh, some of it real, some of it not, social media, from our school, from Reedville School, from the High School Athletic Association, and, uh, High School OT, and this and that. None of that matters. Okay, here's the facts. The game was suspended. We're finishing it tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Here we are. Here we are, 19.1 seconds away from an East Region birth. 19.1 okay. on the clock, 72 for us, 66 for them. Uh, the fouls are 8 and 7. I'm not sure who had who on the team fouls. They're out of timeouts. We have two timeouts. We have the possession, blah, 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 blah. It's their ball, sideline out of bounds, kind of right in front of their bench, half court area. We got a deflection. Um, that was the point of interruption with all the, the other stuff. So um, they're going to get here about 5 o'clock. Uh, both teams cannot get on the floor until 5.30. There'll be a 30-minute warm-up period if they want, which I'm sure both of us will take. And then that's where we'll go. They'll, they'll set up their sideline of bounds. We'll be on defense, and the game will start from there. No fans, no nothing. No fans, no spectators, no media, unfortunately. I mean, just nothing. It'll literally be their team, our team. Um, school administration, the people running the clock and doing the score, the officials, and security at each door, and that's it. Biggest playoff home game in Kinston basketball history. Uh, when I've looked back through the past several years, even all the years they won the state championships, and there was never a year like this when you have the defending state champion coming into Kinston, taking on a team like Kinston that is a favorite to be a state champion, and then both playing for a berth to play in the regional finals. It's never happened on this court before. Well, I think if you, if you ask some people that, that they, they would. Kinston and Farmville, they bring them in the same sentence. Um, you know, Farmville Central is, if you look up there, there's a lot of other banners. I met 88, 89, 90, 92, 93. I met 2016, 2019. Um, you know, we had that gap, but for me, we were fortunate enough to be in Kinston's conference for four years uh, when Wells was there. And uh, they had uh, Reggie Bullock and Brandon Ingram was a ninth grader, 10th grader, so we got to play them night it you know two times a year guaranteed for four years and it kind of lit the fuel to the fire of where where I thought we needed to be as a basketball program anytime you're playing a team that has you know NBA players year in and year out um, you're going to get tested and I think it brought out the best in me as a coach and it's brought out the best in, in these younger guys that they've come up because they've seen you know Kinson's right down the road you're always going to be compared to the green team. Well, Larry Wilford has been He's been there for 20 years and he's done a lot of tremendous things out there with the Jaguars, especially over the past five years. Like I said, they won the state title last year and they won in 2016. And they just had a lot of dominance as far as their ability, their high octane style. Last year they averaged 90 points a game, which is the highest in NCHSA history. This year they're right below that, averaging about 89.2 points heading into this game. That's an outstanding question. Perry Tindall is tougher than he looks. There's a lot of people who think because he is a nice guy and because he'll look you in the eye when he shakes hands with you and uh, he's kind of soft spoken that uh, that maybe you know he can be pushed around he can't be pushed around he is a he's a lot tougher he's got a little more dog in him than people realize i think what they don't know about perry tindall i know when he came in he won three consecutive state titles and people thought that you know he was riding the coattails of what wells gulich had, had done for the kinsta vikings but perry tindall has been able to come into his own he's a motivator he's a leader he's somebody that these players trust and and they will basically run through a brick wall for him. Perry Tyndall, 
uh, Kinston High School bas boys basketball coach. Um, you know, I love I love what coaching allows allows us to do, and it's um, I said it earlier is to um, build relationships, which ultimately I think in our lives the one thing that that matter the most are the relationships we build along the way, and that can look like a lot of different things, whether it's our um, wives, our cousins, our friends, um, our basketball players that I have the ability to coach with and uh, what basketball provides me to, to teach them the game but also to teach about life within the game is really what it's about and um, you know I want to you know I want our teams to be uh, like we said I want them to be dogs I want us to be uh, tough um, and I want us to, to represent Kinston because as I said earlier uh, Kinston basketball is bigger than all of us, bigger than we really fully can grasp, and I want our guys to always remember that. The crowd that you're going to see here tonight is, we've not had one like this since the days of Jerry Stackhouse. Even when Brandon was here, even when Reggie Bullock was here, we didn't have these kind of crowds here, and uh, all I have to tell you is at 5 o'clock tonight, there were 400 people outside standing in a driving rain waiting to get in. I think the first game, we won by like 20. The second game won by like 20. Third game won by like 15. I feel like the uh, the third round we could have won by 20 points, but we were lack of days with the ball. We could have been better with the ball in our hands. Isaac Carson, he is a pure point guard. Brian Hanks has said that he's probably the best point guard that they've had since Josh Dawson or Dory Hines. He's somebody that can get you 10, 11 assists a game, but he can also put the ball on the floor. He can score. Score inside, score outside. He can get you about 15 points. Uh, probably Jay, right? Justin. He just big, man. He want the contact. You know, he gonna get our guys in foul trouble. We're gonna try to stay out of foul trouble, and we're just gonna have to lock in. Well, I think it makes it special here in the Hoop State is the Hoop State breed dogs. I feel like the Hoops State had the best players in the country. The best players come out of North Carolina, really. What area code in North Carolina has the best players? 252. 252. 255. Verbal Central proved that they deserved to be the state champions when they played Kenson the first time. I mean, when you shoot 80%, 8 for 10 from the three point line, when you shoot 70% from the field, on a court like this that's 80% against you, Farmville showed that they uh, they deserve to have that crown again. However, six weeks have passed. We're going to see how much Kinston has learned in that period of time and see if, what lessons they've learned to try to apply uh, in tonight's game. Well, when you think about it, you have two teams that have won seven state titles in the past 10 years. Kinston, of course, had the dynasty in 2010 and in 2012 through 2015. And if, since then, Farmville Central has won titles in 2016 and 2019 and have a strong chance to do the same thing in 2020. Shoot, make no bones about it, Farmville has Larry and his teams in the last several years, he's really established a, a, a dominant team, you know, and, um, you know, we were in the conference with him for years and we, you know, I think sometimes rivalries get um, kind of created because of the recent element to it. Um, and there's, there's no doubt they're def the defending state champions. And so, um, you know, what a great atmosphere that's going to create. Um, he's got a, a solid, solid team that's returning um, most of his team from last year. And Larry's always done a really, really good job with his, with his teams. Uh, he's a good coach. And um, so that environment, that, that matchup will be exciting. I just, it's just a really good matchup, and I think this is one of the biggest games of Kenton basketball history. You know, Farm Central ain't lost many games in the last two or three years, and I don't think they lost to in this side of the area in a long time. And Kenton don't do much losing at home, and you know they lost one game um, to Farm Central early in the year at home. So I think it's a it's an even matchup. It's just going to be the second and third guy, who the second and third guy plays better. But I, I you know, I think it's going to be a really good game tonight. We coming for heads, straight, straight heads. heads. Telling you, straight heads. Straight heads. Oh, yes, sir, definitely, definitely. Kansas versus Farmville.
like I work in finance. God bless, no, this not by chance. Don't dab me, you're not my man. Don't dab me, you're not my man. To stay playoffs, and ladies and gentlemen, like the excitement, like you know, it, it's built up to yeah. something I can't even like. I can't even describe. Like we've had people waiting in line out here since four o'clock. Um, we've talked about this game for the last six months, and it's finally here. Farmville, Kinston, Hoop State Live, Big Pasta on the floor, ride like we back. Hey, let the people know. Yes. All right, here with Coach Larry Wilford for the Farmville Central. You guys were here about a month or so ago, and you got the result you wanted. What are you guys going to have to do to get that same result and get a win tonight? You know, believe in one another, play extremely hard, get back on defense, uh, you know, just play Farmville Central basketball. You have a lot of seniors that have really left an incredible legacy, and they have a chance to add to that with a win tonight and a couple more. What was your message to those guys pregame? Well, we got to concentrate on tonight. Nothing happens if you don't win tonight. Uh, got a lot of experience, guys playing a lot of big basketball games, We're excited about being here. Appreciate it, Coach. atmosphere. It's unbelievable already. Standing room only, already game. 30 minutes for the game, 40 minutes for the game. There was a seat in here, man. This game's all about, man, who wants it more. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm so excited. I just don't really know what to say right now. I just, yeah, man. Like, you, you got two teams that know each other very, very well. Mm -hmm. Two teams that they've had one goal since the beginning of team camp. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, and that's the winning state championship. And both teams knew they had to go through each other. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you got college players, you got future pros. You know what I'm saying? Like this, like this environment. You got two cities. Like, I mean, this is what the 252 was about, man. Like, this is yes. one of the only. Yes. And this area code is one of the only places you can get battles like this. I mean, it's it's serious. Um, they're gonna talk about this for the next 15, 20 years. Uh, these kids, you know what I'm saying, or bragging rights. Like, I mean, this is this is a big, big deal. This right. is a big, big deal. So if Kinson wants to win tonight, they're going to need the Jaquan Mosleys, the Chance for Knotts, the, the Jeremy Dixons to step up and play their best basketball if they want a chance to That's win. That's absolutely right. Hey, for y'all at home, we're about to get wild in here. Oh. Here we go. Wow. That Bowles is playing. And now let's meet your starting yeah. lineup for your 11th time state champion. Oh, the alumni. And this place Sorry, is on one right Jaquan now. City on his back for four years, bro. He gave kids to everything he had in his chest. And this brother right here, that's another one, man. Hey, that's a bad just bad boy. Man. There's just stuff in the water down here, bro. It's different. Real. It's very different. And the lights are back on, and we are about ready to roll. That's why we, we gotta stop right here. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. We gotta stop. Hey, 1300 strong in here right now. I cannot wait for y'all to see this one. And here we go. Knocking at the same.